Welcome back to Skyrim and welcome back to the Midden. We are beneath the College of Winterhold traveling with uh, Janassa now. We're finding all this weird stuff down here. This is some pretty wild and wacky stuff. Relic, ring, finger, index finger. Oh, we could activate individual fingers. Look at this. Index, index finger, ring finger, or the little finger, middle finger. Huh, okay. Well, there's different things we could. Uh -huh. There's different things we could activate there. Interesting. I guess maybe there are some rings that we could put on that thing. Uh, in the last episode, we read something here about that thing. Um, I guess it was this. Uh, yeah, crap! I don't remember what it was, but it was one of these things we read about what was going on here, and I thought I. Yeah, mid incident report. I think this is what we read. And uh, there was a, a relic here. They're talking about the gauntlet. Um, let's see. Couldn't move the relic. He was able to pry four rings from it. This person. Oh, okay. They're stored in the Arcanium. Okay. So I guess it's just another one of those things that we need to remember because I don't think that a quest was given to us uh, regarding that. So yeah, I'm sure I'll remember that. Pretty much just exploring this place, just looking around, seeing what there is to see down here. I mean, we are down here as part of this Good Intentions quest. We're supposed to be finding the Augur, Augur of Dunlane. But uh, I'm just exploring because I like to explore. And I like to see what there is to see. We uh, kind of stuck our head in here in the, at the end of the last episode and saw this weirdness here. So we're just going to cruise on through here. See what else there is. I'm sure there's nothing scary down here. Nothing at all, as we continue to go deeper and deeper and deeper as I keep picking up this hanging moss, because golly gee, that's important. i got to pick that stuff up. Ooh. Oh, look at this. I can't walk through this. I have to fight my way through it, I guess? <laughs> Still sounds like a, a woman's voice to me. The guy's all tired. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Ugh, gross. Got some nasty looking spider over here. I guess that's a... What is that? Whoa, ugh, ugh, frostbite spider. I'll see you burn. I'll see you burn. I don't know what that thing is there to my left. That looks a little different than this. That did no damage at all to the spider, and then the second hit killed it entirely. It's just a frostbite spider. It just looks bigger than the one I was just looking at. I love shooting things far across a location. Killing something that's standing way over there while I stand safely over here. I love that. That's the best. Oh, somebody left their loot down here. <laughs> He's trying to play the loot. I just wanted to play the loot one last time. The dream of mine. Oh, there's like, these are like catacombs down here, man. This is going to get confusing. So this is just a frostbite spider. It looks bigger to me. Skeever tail? Sure, why not? I don't know. We'll just uh, go ahead and fill up our inventory with ingredients that I'll never use. Let's just do that. Anything cool back here? Hmm? Skulls? Rib cages? Get your skulls and rib cages here. What's the map look like now? Uh, it's looking like we've already been over here. Huh. Oh, we've been up there. We haven't been down here. Oh, man, there's a chest up there that I wanted to get into. I don't know if I could get to it. Nah, crap. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to get to it from here, am I? I remember seeing a chest earlier when we were up top, and I didn't want to drop down to the chest because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to get back up. There's the chest right there. Yeah, I think the only way I could get to it is from up there. And frankly, I don't remember how to get up there. I don't think my whirlwind sprint works this way. I don't think I could sprint upwards in, a, in an upwards direction. I think it's just horizontal, but let's try it. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Whirlwind sprint. Let's try it. Well, um, I made it. <laughs> it worked. Okay. Now let's search the chest. Ooh, 57 gold. Okay, not the most exciting thing in the world. Whoa. 
Was that Janassa walking around down there? She looked different from up above. I want to switch my uh, shout back to um, uh, Fire Breath. I just, just like to, you know, keep it on Fire Breath so I know what to expect. Oh, this will take us back out to Skyrim. Okay, well, I am curious to see where this will take us, though. I guess it wouldn't hurt to walk out. Surely we could just turn around and walk right back in, right? Right? No problem. Just walk right back in. Let's just see where this takes us. Oh. Whoa. Well, so much for that. <laughs> Let's see where we are on the map anyway. Interesting. So the map is of Winterhold College. But we are just here underneath of the college. Um, I don't want to drop down there. I mean, I'm sure I could drop down there just fine without hurting myself, but then I won't be able to get back up here and get back into the midden. But that is very interesting. Whoa, oh, I backed into it. <laughs> That's fine. Well, we'll just have to leave that as a mystery for now. So let's go find this auger dude. We'll go do that now. We've, we've explored this place. I think there was another path back here that I didn't take. More hanging moss. And more and more. If you want hanging moss, if you're playing Skyrim and you're looking for hanging moss, this is a good place to get it. <laughs> the highly desired hanging moss. I don't know. Could be. It might be a really cool thing to have. I don't know. I haven't really... I, I, when I first started playing the game, I messed around with alchemy a little bit, but... Uh, it just didn't interest me. Speaking of alchemy, there's a little alchemy uh, bench right here, and there's a book here. De Reum De Rennes. Okay. What's in here? A troll skull. Hey, uh, Janessa, could you come here, please? What? Could you uh, pick this book up for me, please? Will do. I can't. Uh, I can't pick up books. I'm not strong enough. I can't lift them. Thank you. That it. That's it. Gotta get that white cap. What was that there? Oh, you searched the skeleton. Eh, not interested. Uh, I mean, I think I walked through here before. I don't know. Where am I now? Walking up this long passageway here. What is the story with that? Or they dispose of their extra skeletons. Their used skeletons get disposed there. Okay. Well, this looks like it's good. This is the path that we didn't take before. This is probably going to take us to Augerville. That's where the Augur lives. He lives in Augerville. It is named after him. This is interesting. Okay. Your perseverance. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Still, you persist. Very well. You may enter. Boy, that was like a half second of persisting we did there. Alright, let's see this. Hello, how are you? Are you the auger? Activate auger of Dunlane. He's pretty. Mr. Auger, I would like to speak with you. So, just as a refresher, I've been led to the Archmage's quarters by Ancano, who was insistent that I speak to someone claiming to be from the Sigic Order. The monk named Coronir has informed me that the Eye of Magnus is dangerous and that to learn how to deal with it, I need to speak with the Auger of Dunlane within the college. He can be found in the midden beneath the college. That's what we're going to do. Let's, let's activate this guy. So, you're the Augur of Dunlane. Come here often? I am that which you have been seeking. Your efforts are in vain. It is already begun. But those who have sent you have not told you what they seek. What you 
seek. Hmm. And um, what is it I'm seeking? You seek that which all who wield magic seek. Knowledge. You shall find this. Knowledge will corrupt. It will destroy. It will consume. You seek meaning. Shelter in knowledge. You will not find it. The Thalmor sought the same thing. And it shall lead to his end. As it has so many others. Hmm. So there's... Yeah, which... Which Thalmor? Uh, man, I don't know whether I could ask all these questions or not. So, um... Well, yeah, what Thalmor? The one who calls himself Ancano. Mm hmm He seeks information about the Eye. But what he will find shall be quite different. His path will cross yours in time. But first, you must find that which you need. Okay, well, don't leave me hanging, dude. What do I need? You, and those aiding you, wish to know more about the Eye of Magnus. You wish to avoid the disaster of which you are not yet aware. To see through Magnus's eye without being blinded, you require his staff. Events now spiral quickly towards the inevitable center. So you must act with haste. Take this knowledge to your Archmage. Okay, what knowledge exactly? That I need a staff? Okay. Oh, I guess he's gone to bed. It's night time for him. What do you think about the, that, Janessa? She's like, I wish you would have left me in Whiterun. So now the quest says this. After speaking with Coronir from the Sigic Order and being warned of the danger of keeping the Eye of Magnus at the college, I sought out and talked to the Augur of Dun Lane who lives in the midden underneath the college. The Augur told me that I'll need to find the Staff of Magnus and to give that information to my superiors immediately. I think we saw the Staff of Magnus in the Arcanium, I think. I think. Well, we're supposed to report to Savus Aaron, so let's get the heck out of here. Let's dance on his grave. <laughs> Not really his grave. I just wanted to walk in there. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Mm. I mean, I, I guess we'll go up. Oh, this is just going to take us back down. Um, it looks like this is taking me this way. It wants me to go this way. If I just pay attention to the markers, I'll probably get out of here a lot quicker. Oh, well, here it is right here. Okay. There you have it. We already looted that chest down there. It had 57 gold in it. That is freaky. Alright. So this is the Midden. What was the place we were in just now called? The Midden Dark. That's where we were. Okay. Let's get out of here, man. Oh. Pfft. That's not the way out. My marker's pointing me in this direction. This is... Alright. I'll figure it out. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'm not sure what's been going on here. But I'm sure it wasn't... Pleasant. It'd be neat if, like, um, I could use my fireball or something and melt that, and then that would be a passageway. That would be neat, right? But it doesn't look like that's the case. Here's this thing again where we could summon an Atronach if we were so inclined. We are not so inclined. Oh, might as well take that torchbug thorax. I mean, 
Somebody could trip over it. It's a trip hazard. You gotta pick that up. Oh, activate torch sconce. Oh. <laughs> that just gives me the... I just took the torch. I don't want to sleep in that bedroll. That's nasty. Uh, that torch that I just picked up... Let's put that back. I don't need that. Did you make all that noise? Did I walk this way? Uh, I guess there's more than one way out of here. Yeah, I think this is the way we came in, actually. This go back up. This goes back to the Hall of Countenance. And then this should take us to the Hall of the Elements, maybe. Um. Well, let's see. Where is this going to take us? Back to Skyrim. So not the Hall of the Elements, but that, yeah, this area here, whatever you call this place, just the college itself. All right, we need to go find the Archmage and speak with him. Uh, and he is in the Hall of Elements. The chanting services are one of the few things that keep us... Here, dude. How's it going? I'm, I'm not sure what happened. A monk from the Sigic Order. Here after all these years and then... He just leaves. Pretty wacky, huh? I hope we didn't offend him somehow. No, 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 it's all good. I'll tell you all about it. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. Um, did we ask him this question? Beyond asking for you, he never said. Very strange indeed. Very. Hey man, have you ever heard of the Augur of Dunlane? Has Tolfdir been telling okay. stories? So we already talked to him about this stuff. Please. Don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. Yeah, speaking of which, I have important information for you. Really? And what might that be? Well, we need to find the staff of Magnus. I'm sorry, what? Well, I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff, but I'm not really sure that any of us need it. Well, it's connected to this orb that's floating over there. And how do you know of this? I spoke with the Augur of Dunling. Did you really? And he specifically mentioned the Staff of Magnus? Yep. I... I'm impressed with your initiative. Of course, someone will need to follow up on this. Hmm. You mean me, don't you? I certainly do. <laughs> Since you went so far as to seek out the Augur for advice, I thought you'd be more enthusiastic. Something as specific and ancient as the Staff of Magnus I'm not sure we'd ever find something like that. I seem to recall Mirabelle mentioning the staff somewhat recently. Why don't you see if she can tell you anything? I'm quite pleased with your progress, you know. You've certainly proven yourself to be more than a mere apprentice. Well done. This circlet once proved invaluable to me. I hope it can be of use to you now. Uh, mage's circlet added. Okay, well we completed good intentions. And we started a new one called Re Revealing the Unseen. Now, I thought that I saw the Staff of Magnus somewhere in this building. I, we saw a staff somewhere. Maybe it wasn't the Staff of Magnus. I didn't take it because it would have been stealing. Um, Revealing the Unseen, I've been asked to speak with Mirabel. Just got real quiet all of a sudden. I just, I've been asked to speak with Mirabel Irvine to follow up on the Staff of Magnus. Okay, I can speak with her. Activate the Eye of Magnus. Nothing happens. Good thing I'm just walking around activating things left and right. Well, let's go speak with Mirabelle. Oh, oh, hey, you. You. I have many important things on my mind. Your concerns are not among them. Well, good. Then I'm glad I interrupted you just to be a person who interrupts you. Goodbye. We showed him. We, we pranked him. We pranked him. It was just a prank, bro. All right, Mirabelle, where are you? Looks like she's in the Hall of... Uh, I don't remember what this one is. The Hall of Countenance. Man, where did I see that staff? Was it in the Arcanium? 
Maybe it was in the Archmage's quarters is where we saw it. Here's Mirabelle right here. Please don't bother the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. You know what? I'll bother who I want, when I want, where I want, how I want, and why I want. Okay? Anyway. If there are any problems, let me know. It's my job to keep things running smoothly. Okay. Well, I got a doozy for you. Day-to-day -day operations are my responsibility, which means if you become a problem, you get sent to me. Okay. Hey, do you know anything about the staff of Magnus? Well, now that's an odd question. Why in the world would you be asking? Well, um, Archmage Aaron said you'd mentioned it recently. I see. Well, yes, I suppose I did mention it, though I'm not sure what he expects me to tell you. I only brought it to his attention a few months back when the Synod showed up here looking for it. They were apparently under the impression we were keeping it in a closet somewhere. The Synod? Who were the Synod? Mages based out of Cyrodiil. They fancy themselves the imperial authority on magic these last few hundred years. My understanding is that all they really do is make noise in an attempt to curry favor from the Emperor. Lots of politics, little magic. I was quite surprised to find them on our doorstep. They seemed amiable enough, but their line of questioning made me... uneasy. It became clear they're trying to hoard powerful artifacts, looking to consolidate power. Hmm. So, no one knows the staff's location? No one here does. The Synod seemed convinced it was somewhere in Skyrim. They inquired about the ruins of Mizulft, but that's all I remember. It sounded like they were heading there, though they were rather secretive about why. I suppose if you're intent on looking for the staff, there's a chance they might be in Mizulft yet. Just don't expect them to be cooperative. Hmm. Okay. Find the ruins of Mizulft. What else can you tell me about this staff? I'm not really sure. Made and used by Magnus himself, if you believe those sorts of things. I believe I've heard it said that it's the only thing that could adequately contain his power. The sort of embellishment wizards of ancient times loved to make. Okay. Well, thanks and goodbye. I say goodbye. Okay, no goodbye from her. Ooh, look at all these gems. Okay, so now our quest says, Mirabil has told me that members of the Synod, is that how they said it, recently visited the college, mentioning the staff of Magnus. They were last known to be heading towards Mzulft. They may know more about where to find the staff, find the ruins of Mzulft. Um, They're right here on the map. Somehow we know this. Way over here in the part of the map that we haven't visited yet <laughs> this whole big little little big big section of the map here southeastern part of the map i guess just haven't been here so there we go there's another reason for us to visit um i am curious though because i did see a staff somewhere um i'm i'm, I'm guessing that it was not the um staff of magnus right um but i am curious you know, they say knowledge uh -huh. is its own reward. I am curious about which staff I saw. I also wonder if we should go up into the Arcanium and see if we can't find those rings that were pried from that, um... The hand. Right? Oh, hi. Have you managed to track down the Synod or the Staff of Magnus? How'd you get out of here so quick? Oh, that dragon is still lying here. <laughs> Didn't even notice it. Let's go back in here. Enchanting services are one of the few things that keep us in touch. Mm-hmm. Tell me that again. <laughs> He's followed me in here. <laughs> but wait, I, I'm not done talking to you. Enchanted weapons and armor. Hey, dude. Hey. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? You know, you don't have to be so hostile towards me, dude. I've helped you out a lot already. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling hmm. this collection. It's going to stay pristine, understand? Hey, man, what have you got for sale? Assorted books. Scrolls. I'm sure you'll find something useful. Mm, so he does just sell books. So we, well. 
Where are these rings that were mentioned? Well, these all require a key to get into. Um, but yeah, that, that note said that the rings were placed in the Arcanium. And we are now in the Arcanium. There are few places where one can pursue my type of work without fear of persecution. Hmm. I mean, I doubt it would just be lying around out here. I mean, maybe it's in one of these bookcases. So this just has a bunch of books in it. Oh, this one requires a key. As does this one. Here's a chest. Oh, the investigator's chest. Here they are. Here are the rings. Huh. Okay, but this would be stealing if I took these. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Well, we know where the rings are now. I'm not going to go stealing them, especially with people sitting here watching me. Maybe we come back after hours or something. I don't know. I'm working on some very uh, I want to know if we could get into the mage's quarters here and see if if there is indeed a, a staff up here. I I saw one lying somewhere. Where was it? Here, right here. Okay, this is it. This is the staff I saw. <laughs> staff of the Frost Nature Knack. Okay. Uh, obviously not the Staff of Magnus, but uh, I just wanted to come back and, and see it. It's pretty neat. These are pretty neat quarters. I like the lighting in here. Oh, hey, what's up? I trust that you'll inform me as soon as the staff is recovered. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, nothing else here in the college related to this um, whole orb quest. So we're going to leave the college. And we have a decision we have to make regarding another quest. This uh, quest about the Black Star here. Now, this is, this is a big deal, I think. Um, and there's a lot of information that uh, I've kind of written down in here. Uh, but I've probably forgotten about two. Let me see, where is this? This one's called the Black Star. Why do I not? Ha there it is. Okay. So we're now supposed to, this is the whole deal with um, the Shrine of Azura, right? We we went and visited the Shrine of Azura and there was somebody na there named Arian Ar Arania or something like that, right? And uh, she believes that it is our role to serve as Azura's champion. Azura is one of the the Daedra, I believe. Um, we're supposed to go to a fortress, blah blah blah. Uh, and we got we got the uh, we got the Black Star, right? We got the um, we have Azura's star now. We have it, right? And now we have to decide who to give it to. Uh, Arania told us that. Um, we were supposed to talk to somebody in here. We talked to this Nelikar guy who is here in the college and he studies stars, apparently. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm just trying to scan through my notes here. I've written a lot of stuff down. Um, we came we came to Nelikar, told him that we we're looking for a mage who studies stars, and he asked who sent us. When we tell him it was the priestess of Azura, she says, or she, he says, she? I wrote down she. Is Nelikar a woman? Jeez, I don't know. Uh, it's all finally coming back to haunt me. Yeah, it's a he. He then tells us about a soul gem that doesn't break after being used for enchanting. That's Azura's star. Uh, it's a Daedric artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. Some wanted to find out how, including this Malin Varen guy who Nelikar used to work for. Malin wanted to alter the star because he was dying of a disease and thought he could store his own soul inside and become immortal. It drove him mad and students started dying. He was ex exiled by the college and took a few loyal disciples to Illinalta's Deep and vanished. And that's where we found the star. We went to Illinalta's Deep. Uh, Nelikar tells us not to take the star back to Azura because the Daedra are evil and they are the reason Malin went insane. Uh, Azura commands an entire realm inside of Oblivion, and the more Malin worked on the star, the more Azura was able to damn him. You can only store white souls in the star. 
Azura's magic won't allow black or human souls to enter it, but that's what Malin was working on before he was exiled from the college. So, um, I mean, yeah, so Nelikar says, do not bring the star to um, Azura because the Daedra are evil. Huh. And, and I, this, is, this is the kind of thing that I don't like. Um, somebody left me a comment, or maybe even more than one person left me a comment, telling me not to bring the star to Nelikar. You gotta let me make up my own decisions, man. I mean, I can only go off of what I've learned in the game or what I've read or heard or even tried to remember by writing stuff down in my notes. My notes, from what I remember and from what I've written down here, it seems to me that I want to bring it back to Nelikar. Nelikar said, don't bring it to Azura because the Daedra are evil. And I, I mean, they are, right? So why would I not bring it back to uh, Nelikar? So, I mean... I feel like that's what my character would do based upon the information that I've got here. Uh, do I have more than one quest picked? Oh, okay, it's, okay. Bring the star to Arania Ar or bring the star to Nelikar. We could go back and talk to both of them, I would imagine, uh, before we just really decide which ones to do, which one to do. Um, Nelikar is in Winterhold, actually. He's not in the college. So we're going to go out here to Winterhold. We'll see if we could find Nelikar. And, um... Oh, I can't, can't walk around that interesting. I can't walk through it, I should say. I'm going to have a little chat with this guy and see if he has anything new to tell us. Because, I mean, now I'm all suspicious because of a comment I received. And I don't like that because I... I, I don't... I wouldn't have been suspicious otherwise, right? I would have been like, well, Nelikar is the one who told me where to find it, basically. And he's the one who gave me the information, he was cooperative, and he told us not to bring it back to Azura. So, I mean, why wouldn't I listen to him? Sigic monks have been seen in Skyrim. They're an ancient order. I had them figured for dead. Oh, okay, nice talking to you, Rando. So we're gonna make it near to the frozen hearth. This is where Nelikars should be Nelikar. hanging out. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Here's Nelikar right here. Hey man, how's it My going? My days at the college are long behind me, but I prefer to stay close by. Is he like taller than me or something? I guess he is a little bit. I feel like I'm looking up at him. Oh, he's just gonna have a seat there next to uh, Berna. Well, I hate to interrupt your meal, dude. Dagor and I have an understanding. He gives me privacy, and I make sure my experiments don't blow up his ears. See, he's got an arrangement. Stendar's mercy. Oh. You found it. Yeah. Azora's star. I did find it. Maybe this is my chance to make things right. I can finish Malin's work the way we had meant to before his madness. It would mean cutting the star off from Azura. Only black souls would be able to enter it once we finished. Uh, what? You're going to continue Malin's work? I don't know if it's a very good idea. Let me think about it. All right. But hurry. Who knows if Azura is watching us? Huh, boy, he was not shy about what his plans were for the star. He wants to continue Malin's work? I mean, I just don't know if that's a good idea. Hmm. Huh. I mean, they're basically talking about becoming immortal. I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? Excuse me? Let's go talk to, um... This priestess, Aranea. Let's go talk to her. See what she has to say. <laughs> I don't know why it bothers me so much when they say that. What the... Wait a minute now. Where'd my marker go? This is the one... Okay, this is the one. This is the one that'll take us to... Let's go, man. Let's take a little walk over here and see what she has to say. Yeah, I didn't... It's, it's really weird to me that he was just so open. He was like, oh, good, I could... I thought he just wanted to keep it, you know, and so that the, the Daedra didn't get it back. I didn't know that he wanted to continue the experiments. So, yeah, I'm not too chast about that idea. Because it's... I mean, it drove Malin crazy. Isn't going to drive him crazy, too? Maybe I'll just hang on to the star. Maybe I don't give it back to anybody. Man, how am I going to get up here? There it is. Yeah, we could go up this way, I think. 
interesting. The way when I move the... The way the light reflects over there. I thought I saw movement over here. Hmm, guess not. Let's go up here and see what she says. I don't remember thinking that she was evil when I talked to her earlier. That was a long time ago, though. Oh, something up here. What is it? Oh, a troll. Hey, what's up, buddy? What's up, Mr. Frost Troll? Ooh, Janassa goes running in. Come on, finish him off. It's part of your training. Good job. Nice. I'll check that troll fat. What weapon does she have? I forget. I'm glad to have met you. If that is what you wish. She is using the Galder Black Blade, which absorbs 20 points of health. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, we can keep that. All right, so we got a bit of a walk to get up here. There's a wolf over here. Go get him. Boy, she is just super aggressive. So I'm guessing that when she turns red like that, she's absorbing health. <laughs> she's like, give me more of your health. Nice. That's kind of a cool weapon, man. I'm thinking that might be pretty cool. Okay, if I remember correctly, we need to kind of go around here to get up there. Let's do a little bit of running. I think the last time we were up here, we saw a dragon. I think I killed it. Oh, another troll. Oh, there's a dragon up there. Did you see it? Nice. Hmm, okay. She's very aggressive. I like how she runs up there. I don't like that she runs in my way. But uh, let's see if we can take on this dragon. So yeah, I don't remember, did I kill the dragon last time I was here, or did I not kill it and this is the same dragon? I don't know. So we explored that area when we were here before. This is where, this will take us over here. Yeah. Right? No? Am I going the right way? Maybe I'm going the wrong way. Maybe I should have been over there. Crap, man. I don't want to lose Janassa. If I go down here, I'm afraid I'm going to lose her. Pretty sure I'll lose her if I do this. No, well, whatever. She'll catch up. Hmm. Oh, hi. Hey, how's it going? Let me get out my sword here. Hey, hold on. I want the pelt. Looking to see if I see Janassa coming up the hill. There she is. <laughs> yeah, she'll make it up here. Alright, she'll catch up. Another wolfie. What's up? Chop. Oh, don't run away. Don't run away. What are you running away for? Oh, he's back. Janessa. <laughs> uh, well, this is very dangerous. No railing here. Hmm. Beings who 
are to be guided from the darkness into the light, and from the light into dark. What's that? How's that now? Hello, how are you? Yes, how's it going? Azura Star! I knew the Lady of Twilight had sent you for a reason. Hand it over to me. I will ask Azura to restore the star to its original purity. That's it? Oh, okay. I need a moment. I understand. Speaking to a goddess is overwhelming for many. Return when you're prepared. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna dance on your dais here. Um, well, I mean, I was all set to give it back to uh, Nelikar, but uh, I didn't know that he was going to try to use it to do more experiments. Unfortunately, I don't know too much about Azura, really. Uh, I don't think I've read any books about Azura. Um... I really wonder what would happen if I give her the star. I don't know. I'm I'm really seriously considering giving it to her because I don't want that guy doing any more experiments on it. I'm gonna give it to her. Are you ready for me to show Azura her star and receive her wisdom? Yeah, let's get some wisdom. I like wisdom. Here, take it. See if I care. I will commune with Azura. You do that. You do exactly that. Azura, mother of roses, goddess of dusk and dawn. Your chosen champion has returned your star to you. She wishes to speak to you herself. Please, place your hands on the altar and you will hear her voice. Okay. But wait. Please place your hands on the altar. Azura wishes to speak with you. All right, fine. Looks like she's going to walk away and give us a little bit of privacy here. So, um, I have Azura's star, but it's been corrupted by Malin Varen's magic. I could take the star to either Aranea or Nelikar to have it repaired. All right. Speak to Azura. Greetings, mortal. You have followed my guidance through the veils of twilight and rescued my star from Malin Varen. But his soul still resides within, protected by his enchantments. Until he is purged, my artifact is useless to you. Hmm, okay. Yeah, well, why don't you remove it? Aren't you a Daedra? Eventually, the star will fade back into my realm in oblivion. But I doubt you have the hundred or so years it would take to wait. No, only one option remains. I will send you inside the star. You will banish Malin's soul there. Tell me when you are ready, mortal. Okay, tell her when you're... Um, can I just uh, tab out of this? I can. Okay, tell Azura you're ready to enter the star. Uh-huh. <laughs> so now we have to enter the star. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to do that right now. We'll do that in the next episode. Uh, right now we're going to stand here in this very, very cold place, and we're going to dig through our bag of books. And we're going to pick one out, and we're going to read it, because that's what we do at the end of an episode. Uh, let me look at my list of books here to see which ones I have actually read and which ones I haven't actually read, because you can't trust the game. Um... Let's see here. Uh, what about Purloined Shadows? Definitely haven't read that one. And there goes a the motorcycle. Uh, Purloined Shadows. Let's read that. We Our pickpocket has increased to 20. Purloined Shadows by w w Wagen Yarth. Chapter 1. The candle was lit and the thief was standing there blinking, caught. She was young, rather dirty, wearing ragged black clothes that were surely quite smart and expensive weeks ago when she had stolen them from one of the city's best tailors. The look of surprise slipped from her face, and she took on a blank expression as she put the gold back on the table. "'What are you doing here?' the man with the candle asked, stepping from the shadows. "'That's a stupid question,' the girl replied, frowning. 
I am obviously robbing you. Since nothing I have is missing, the man smiled, glancing at the gold on the table, I would have to say that you're not robbing me. Attempting to rob me, perhaps. The question I have is, why? You know who I am, I assume. You didn't just come in through an unlocked door. I've stolen from everyone else. I've taken soul gems from the Mage's Guild. I've robbed the treasury of the most secure fortress. I cheated the Archbishop of Julianos. I even pickpocketed the Emperor Pelagius at his coronation. I thought it was your turn. I'm flattered, the man nodded. Now that your ambition has been thwarted, what will you do? Flee? Perhaps retire? Teach me, the girl replied, a little grin finding its way unconsciously on her face. I picked all your locks. I slipped past all your wards. You designed them. You know how difficult that was for someone without training. I didn't come here for six gold pieces. I came here to prove myself. Make me your student. The master of stealth looked at the little girl burglar. Your skill is not in need of training. Your planning is adequate, but I can help you with that. What is without hope is your ambition. You are past stealing for your livelihood. Now you steal for the pleasure of it, for the challenge. That's a personality trait which is incurable and will lead you to an early grave. Haven't you ever wanted to steal that which can't be stolen? The girl asked. Something that would make your name known forever? The master did not answer. He only frowned. Clearly I was fooled by your reputation, she shrugged and opened a window. I thought you might want a willing accomplice on some great act of thievery which would go down in history. Like you said, my skill at planning is only adequate. I didn't have in mind an escape route, but this will have to do. The burglar slipped down the sheer wall, dashed across the shadowy courtyard, and within a few minutes was back at her room in the rundown tavern. The master was waiting for her there in the dark. I didn't see you go past me, she gasped. You turned on the street when you heard the owl call, he replied. The most important tool in the thieves' repertoire is distraction, either planned or improvised. I suppose your lessons have begun. And what is the final test? The girl smiled. When he told her, she could only stare. She had, it seemed, not misunderstood his reputation for daring, not at all. Chapter 2 For the week leading up to the 8th of Hearthfire, the skies above Rindale were dark and alive as clouds of crows blotted out the sun. Their guttural squawks and groans deafened all. The peasants widely, wisely bolted their doors and windows, praying to survive that most unholy of days. On the night... Of the summoning, the birds fell silent, their black, unblinking eyes followed the witch's march into the glen. There were no moons to light the way, only the leader's single torch in the gloom. Their white robes appeared as indistinct shapes, like the faintest of ghosts. A single tall tree stood in the middle of the clearing, every branch thick with crows, watching the procession without moving. The lead witch placed the torch at the base of the tree, and her seventeen followers formed a circle and began their slow, strange, wailing chant. As they sang, the glow of the torch began to change. It did not diminish at all, but its color became more and more gray, so it seemed a pulsating wave of ash had fallen on the witches. Then it grew darker still, so that for a moment, though the fire yet burned, it was the darkest night in the forest. The penumbra continued until the torch was burning with a color without a name, emptiness beyond mere blackness. It cast a glow, but it was an unnatural scintillation falling on the witches. Their robes of white became black. The Dunmer among them had eyes of green and ivory white flesh. The Nords appeared black as coal. The crows watching overhead were as pure white as the witches' cloaks. The Daedra Princess Nocturnal stepped out of the pit of uncolor. She stood in the center of the circle, the tree of pallid crows, her throne aloof as the witches continued their chanting, dropping their robes to prostrate themselves, or prostrate, sorry, <laughs> dropping their robes to prostrate themselves naked before their great mistress. Wrapping her night cloak around her, she smiled at their song. It spoke of her mystery, of veiled beauty, of eternal shadows and a divine future when the sun burns no more. Nocturnal let her cloak slide from her shoulders and was naked. Her witches did not raise their heads from the ground, but continued their hymn of darkness. Now, said the girl to herself, 
She had been up in the tree all day, dressed in a ridiculous suit of mock crows. It was uncomfortable, but when the witches had arrived, she forgot all her aches and concentrated on being perfectly still like the other crows in the tree. It had taken considerable planning and study between her and the Master of Stealth to find the glen and to learn what to expect in the summoning of, the no of Nocturnal. Gently, silently, the burglar eased herself down the branches of the tree, coming closer and closer to the Daedra Princess. She let herself break her concentration for just a moment and wondered where the master was. He had been confident in the plan. He said that when Nocturnal dropped her cloak, there would be a distraction, and it could be quickly taken in that instant provided the girl was in position at the precise right moment. The girl climbed along the lowest of the branches, carefully pushing aside the crows that were, as the master said, transfixed by the princess in her naked beauty. The girl was now close enough, if she only reached out her arm to touch the nocturnal's back. The song was rising to a crescendo, and the girl knew that the ceremony would soon be over. Nocturnal would clothe herself before the witches ended the chant, and the chance to take the cloak would be over. The girl gripped the tree branch tightly as her mind raced. Could it be that the master was not here at all? Was this, was this conceivably the entire test? Was it only to show that it could be done not to do it? The girl was furious. She had done everything perfectly, but the so-called master of stealth had proven himself a coward. Perhaps he had taught her a little in the months that it took to plan this, but what was it worth? Only one thing made her smile. On that night, when she had stolen into his stronghold, she had kept one single gold piece and he had never suspected it. It was symbolic, as symbolic as stealing the cloak of Nocturnal in its way, proving that the master thief could be robbed. The girl was so lost on her mind that she thought she imagined it for a moment when a man's voice yelled out from the darkness, Mistress! The next words she knew she didn't imagine. Mistress, a thief behind you! The witches raised their heads and screamed, ruining the sanctity of the ceremony as they charged forward. The crows awoke and burst from the tree in an explosion of feathers and toad-like cries. Nocturnal herself whirled around, affixing the girl with her black eyes. "'Who art thee who dares profane?' the princess hissed as the pitched shadows flew from her body, enveloping the girl in their lethal chill. In the last instant before she was swallowed alive by darkness, the girl looked to the ground and saw that the cloak was gone, and she answered as she understood Oh, who am I? I'm the distraction. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Purloined shadows. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, why don't you let me know? Maybe, I don't know, leave me a like, leave a comment, share with your friends. You know, that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching. Sure hope you join me again in the next episode.